Kylo Season 1 was very deceptive. It was written in a way to suggest that there was a happy ending, but as Ramsey Bolton once said, if you think this has a happy ending, then you haven't been paying attention. We are going to go over a few things today, such as which Grima died? Did Kjartan kill the original Asha? Why does the picture of Jesus look like Grima's father, Tor? And who are the eight new changelings? Let's start by calling out the unreliable narrators. Dari came to the conclusion that the Mikael changeling was a manifestation of his thoughts. He and his wife then used that logic to justify the drowning of their own child. They treated the kid as if he was not a real human, as if he were just there to help them fix their marriage, but that's not what happened. They just killed their kid. A psychotic kid, no doubt. But the Mikael changeling was a living human, and they killed him. Grima had similar thoughts. She allowed her sister to drown herself, because she assumed that the Osha changeling was sent to her with a purpose. She thought the Osha changeling's purpose was to help her get over the loss of her sister. In other words, Grima thought that it was all about her. But it wasn't. When Grima met her own changeling, one of the first things that she asked the Grima changeling was, Why do you exist? What is your purpose? What's your purpose? Touché. In contrast to Grima, the Grima changeling was warm and gentle. She was happy. She wasn't still mourning the losses of her mother and sister, and she wasn't angry at her father. She still loved Kjartan. And the Grima changeling felt entitled to life. So right away, she put on Grima's clothes, repainted Grima's walls, and rearranged Grima's furniture. She even slept with Kjartan. Why? Because she thinks of him as her husband. After all, she is a version of Grima. But eventually, the original Grima had enough of it. So she got the gun and one bullet to play Russian roulette. Grima is in the yellow tank top and the changeling is in the blue tank top. Grima took the first shot. The changeling took the second. Grima took the third. And the changeling took the fourth. Then, Grima raised the gun for the fifth shot. But she must have decided not to pull the trigger. Because the fifth shot was taken by the Grima in blue. The changeling. That meant the final shot should have been taken by the original Grima. But that doesn't mean that she actually did it. There are two options. The original Grima may have played fair and shot herself. Or the changeling may have decided to take one for the team. But if the Grima changeling was willing to sacrifice herself, then why would she have waited until the last bullet? So personally, I believe that the original Grima died. But even if that is true, that does not mean that we have seen the last of Grima, or the last of Osha, or the last of the two Magnas, and we may not have even seen the last of crazy little Mikael. Because the final scene showed at least eight changelings, and the show has hinted at season two being about vengeance. Let's take a step back. Katla is the volcano. Dari went down below the glacier line and discovered that the Katla volcano was formed by a meteorite a long, long time ago. Dari also discovered that the meteorite does not share the same characteristics of any known rock formation, which implies that the meteorite came from outside the solar system. The meteorite is still down there. So whenever Katla erupts, as it has been for the last year, she spreads small fragments of the meteorite around the glacier. And the meteorite substance has supernatural powers. People and animals in the area are replicated as changelings. One of the folklore stories that Burgroon told was about a farm maid back in 1625. The farm maid had a child out of wedlock, so she sacrificed the child, and then her finances improved. But she never forgave herself for doing that. Then, year after year, the locals would find the dead body of a baby in the highlands. So eventually, the farm maid went up there in the autumn and found the child before it died. Turns out, the child was her, so she raised it. But when the child turned 13, he killed his mother while she was sleeping and then vanished. Who knows if that story is true, but do not be surprised if Mikael shows back up in season 2 for vengeance. Because the season 1 Mikael changeling hated his father. But if he returns in season 2, he will likely hate his mother as well. Then we've got Magna. Geesley abused both Magna and the changeling Magna, so they drove off and seemingly died in the latest eruption. But Magna's son, Anar loved her, so he will miss her, which means he may unknowingly summon a new version of her. And if the new Magna changeling remembers what Geesley did, 
Or if the son tells Magna that Gysi tried to kill the original Magna, then the new changeling Magna may try to kill Gysi in season 2. And the character who we should be most excited to see return is Osha. Her mother took her own life. This may explain why the original Osha was an alcoholic. The Osha changeling didn't like drinking, but she still suffered from depression and ended up giving up on life. Unfortunately, her sister Grima let her go. But the changing Asha had been rebuilding her relationship with Dr. Vigdis. So Dr. Vigdis is going to miss Asha, and thus Vigdis may unknowingly summon another version of Asha in Season 2. And if Asha returns, she may also return with vengeance. Hear me out. About a year ago, Asha was on a rescue mission. Her snowmobile malfunctioned and she was left behind. Later, her snowmobile was found in a crevasse, which led people to believe that she died out there. But she didn't. Her body was found underneath the building, and one of the first things that the Asha Changing said was that she remembers being stuck by a needle. Since her brother-in-law, Kjartan, hated her, he has got to be the prime suspect. But another option is Geesley. Geesley was not fond of his son dating Asha since she was such a party animal. And we know that Geesley is a very disturbed man. He once commented on how sometimes he had to drive Asha home half-clothed. And when discussing her reappearance with his son Einar, Geesley's hypothetical scenario was that someone drugged her and raped her. That lines up perfectly with Asha's memory of a needle. So, if anyone killed Asha, it was probably Geesley. And we may see a second Geesley in Season 2. Because Einar disowned his father, he explicitly told him, you are dead to me. That is the same type of feeling that Kjartan had for Grima. It may have been the reason the Grima changeling was created. So who knows? Einar may summon a Geesley changeling. And we're not done yet. Get ready for this one. Einar told the Asha changeling that the painting of Jesus looked a lot like her father. A man who just so happens to have the name of a god. Tor. Hang on to that one for a second. In episode 6, Grima asked the changeling Grima, who made you? And the changeling said, I think I was just born. And Grima responded, no, you weren't born, I was born. And the changeling was like, what's the first thing you remember? That back and forth was fishy. Is the quote-unquote original Grima even the original Grima? She sure thinks she is, but is she? Or was she also born a changeling? Because who actually remembers their birth? I don't. Do you? Grima believed that Asha served her purpose by helping Grima to move past the loss of her sister. But Grima was not able to move past the loss of her mother, and she wasn't able to embrace her husband Kjartan. So maybe it's a good thing if the Grima that survived the Russian roulette was the Grima changeling. The Magnia changeling drove off with Magdia. That may have been the Magnia changeling's purpose, and the Gunhild changeling brought Tor and Gunhild back together. In the process, Gunhild learned that Bjorn's disability was not her fault, and Bjorn has been reconnected with his father. On top of that, the Gunhild changeling also convinced Osha that the love she has for Tor is real. So if Osha returns, she doesn't have to hate her or the original version of her. And since the Gunhild changeling disappeared and we saw the original Gunhild let down her hair, there's a chance that the original Gunhild stays with Tor and her son. That'd be nice. But Dari and Raquel believe that the Mikael Changeling's purpose was to help them move on from the loss of their crazy son. And they have. Their relationship is now healing. But do Changelings actually have a purpose? Because if so, that change came at the cost of these two people's lives. How is that a good thing? Katla has caused supernatural events for hundreds of years. Both dead and living humans are reborn as changelings. Even animals such as the crow, the horse, the sheep, and this cow here with the ash all over it are changelings. Dr. Vignus may unknowingly summon back Ossia. Einar may summon back his mother Magna. And Einar may even summon a better version of his father Geesley. And there are other outstanding questions such as, did Geesley drug assault, and kill Osa. And who are these eight changelings? But there may be much bigger questions about all of these people. Are they all changelings? And even if he doesn't realize it, is Tor a god? 
Or rather, considering the fact that off-screen at the beginning of the season, Tor visited the glacier for the first time in three years, which is exactly how long ago Mikael died. And considering the fact that Tor loves taking care of things such as the cats, and Tor loves fixing things such as the truck, the piano, and so much more. Considering the fact that the crow flew to Ossia, and Raquel crowned Mikaia's castle with a not-so-random white feather, is Tor somehow connected to all these changes? A lot of outstanding questions. One thing's for certain, though. If Mikaia returns, his parents better not neglect him. They better show him love, or else everyone, hide your birds and your fathers, hide your mothers and your kids, because Mikael is a painter. A painter who only uses red.